Thank you, Fritz. Well, on the same day that former Vice President Al Gore wins the Nobel Peace Prize for his work on global warming, a friend and political ally of Gore's, the President of Iceland is here in Los Angeles to open a new facility for renewable energy. Channel 4's Donna Detro is here in the studio now to tell us more about that. Donna? Anna, Iceland's president is helping his country lead the world in renewable energy. And now those technologies are going to be used here in Los Angeles and other big cities. His visit today to L.A. coincides with the announcement of former Vice President Al Gore winning the Nobel Peace Prize. The president is very good friends with Gore. He is probably the single individual who has done most to create greater worldwide understanding of the measures that need to be adopted. Former Vice President Al Gore is newly named co-winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. With this honor, he hopes to change the world's consciousness about the challenges of global warming. There's an old African proverb that says, if you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We have to go far, quickly. And today in Los Angeles, Iceland and the United States came together. Iceland's president, Olafur Grimson, and Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa helped officially open the North American headquarters of Iceland America Energy here in L.A. Iceland is one of the world's leaders in renewable energy. Iceland will work with us sharing its geothermal technology, harnessing the power of the earth through geothermal heat to produce electricity. We think that California and other parts of the United States can utilize geothermal resources in a major way in order to help California and other parts of the U.S. to achieve a much cleaner energy system in a cheap, business-like, profitable way. President Grimson is good friends with Al Gore and believes his friend is waking up the world. Still, there are those who say there is no global warming. The Competitive Enterprise Institute announced today, quote, it's an unfortunate and misguided move by the Nobel Committee, end quote. Gore plans to donate half of the $1.5 million prize to the Alliance for Climate Protection, a nonprofit organization that is devoted to changing public opinion worldwide about the urgency of solving the climate crisis. Chuck, back to you. Thanks very much, Donna. Three people.